नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ मल्टी सिम टूटोरियल फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू प्लॉट वी आई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ डायोड यूजिंग मल्टी सिम सो बी विथ मी टिल द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो एंड यू विल अमेज योर सेल्फ बाई सींग सो मेनी ट्रिक्स एंड टिप्स and how to use multi sim to plot vi characteristics of diode in the beginning let me show you how to prepare the circuit diagram for diode let me show you the circuit diagram this is the circuit diagram to get the forward vi characteristics of diode basically if we want to plot vi characteristics what does this means this means that on horizontal axis we are using voltage across diode vd and we plot the graph of current flowing through the diode so basically this forward vi characteristics is change in current flowing through diode when we apply change in voltage across the diode so now to get this characteristics we need to measure voltage and current so voltmeter is always connected in parallel and that is why we have connected voltmeter in across the diode so that we can get voltage across diode and to measure current flowing through diode we have used ammeter this is the load resistance and this is the supply voltage we are going to use variable dc supply so that we can regulate the voltage in small steps so this is basic circuit now we are going to implement this circuit into the multi sim so let's quickly move to the multi sim so this is our interface of multi sim now we are going to plot the vi characteristics of a practical diode we are going to use 1 and 4007 diode so from this component toolbar we are going to select diode and there are various types of groups available here so from this groups we will select diode in diode we are going to use 1n4007 diode just click okay and this is our diode now as per that circuit we require source so we'll get the source in power sources uh, there is a dc power supply so click okay we can get dc power supply and another supply is available in signal voltage sources there is dc interactive voltage so let's just place okay we are not going to use both of these sources we are going to use only one source which is this but uh, i want to show you that why i am selecting this source over this dc supply but that i'll show you little later on first of all we'll take all the components that we require now we require resistance so from the basics from resistor we are going to use resistance of 5 ohm just press control and r to rotate this resistance 90 degree and again from sources power sources take a ground just place right so the component that we require that is all of this now we want to measure voltage and current right so to measure voltage and current we require multimeter so we'll get multimeter from here this multimeter plays role of voltmeter and the another one will plays the role of ammeter so whatever the component that we require now all of them are on our desk now first of all let me tell you that why instead of using this dc power source we are going to use this variable uh, voltage source the reason behind this is we want to change voltage in every small steps right so if we use dc power supply then what uh, we need to do every time we want to change voltage then uh, double click the supply change voltage make it 10 and then Uh, convert this 12 volt supply into the 10 volt and that that is tedious task because we want to take lot of readings to get the proper characteristics so just delete this source in this source what we need to do is just double click the maximum value this shows the maximum value of the source we want to keep maximum value as 
8 volt now increment that means when you click this source this key a when you click a button from your keyboard what should be the increment of voltage in this source so we want very small increment of 0 0.05 volt so we will play 0. Uh, almost 6 to 5 right so we'll place this increment value as 0 0.6 to 5 so when I press A it will just give me the increment of 0 0.05 volt when I place this as 0 and I press A it give me increment of 0 0.05 volt once again A it will give me increment of again 0 0.05 volt so this is the advantage of this source and that is why I have selected this source so now we'll connect the circuit as per our arrangement uh, that we have seen this is uh, the place of voltmeter we want to place voltmeter in parallel so now let's just connect the circuit diode is connected with supply now connect diode with load this is our ground we need to measure uh, current also right so we'll place emitter in series right so diode is connected with positive and negative is connected with load so this is the circuit let's connect this ground <coughs> now let's connect this voltmeter across the diode <coughs> so this is our complete circuit right to uh, just make it this way so that this looks a little bit decent right so this XMM2 is a meter and this XMM1 is voltmeter just double click this meter click on volt and click on DC so this will measure voltage TC for this we want to measure current so just set this meter as a meter and to set this as a meter just click on a and click on dc so this will measure dc current so just double click place this thing over here double click place this thing over here so from this meter we'll be able to measure voltage and from this we'll be able to measure current <coughs> and now just simply start so we have started zero voltage across diode and zero current is flowing because we are applying zero volt now here let me tell you if you want to understand the vi characteristics of diode i am going to prepare a separate video for explanation of vi characteristics of diode in this video i am showing how to prepare vi characteristics of diode so the link of the video that gives explanation of VI characteristics of diode that I have provided into the description box. Just check this thing after watching this video. So now we are going to make a first incremental change with 0.05 volt. So 50 millivolt across the diode and see the 52 nano ampere of current is flowing through the diode and it is almost zero current. Now it's 0.1 volt. So 99.99 millivolt across the diode and 189 nano ampere. So still it is almost zero ampere of current is flowing through the diode. Now let me make two incremental changes. It's 0.2 volt. Voltage across the diode increased and current flowing through the diode also increased. Now it's 0.3 volt. Voltage across diode increased and current across the diode also increased now the current from nano ampere it's converted into the micro ampere 10.5 micro ampere let me give two more increment it's 0.4 volt across the diode and 72 micro ampere of current is flowing so still it's in micro ampere range of current we can consider is very small amount of current almost zero 0.5 current has slightly increased voltage almost 0.5 volt across diode it's 0.6 volt so the voltage across diode is uh, 0.586 and current is 2 milliampere now the current has started to come into the milliampere range 
now the key thing happens now again we are making change 0.7 volt we have applied and the voltage across diode is 0.652 millivolt and 9 milliampere of current is flowing now again we have make incremental change 0.694 so it's almost 0.7 volt across the diode and current is 21 milliampere so now it's 0.721 millivolt and current is 35 milliampere now gradually i am going to make the change and you just observe the change in current and then after using this readings we are going to plot the graph of the diode it's 0.741 volt and current is 51 milliampere again this change current has increased now let's make 0. 8 volt across the diode right so it's almost 0 0.8 volt across the diode and current is 140 milliampere so it's almost 0 0.15 ampere of current is flowing through diode the maximum capacity of forward current of this diode is 1 ampere now we are going to uh, apply 0 0.85 volt across the uh, diode so the voltage drop off across the diode we are going to bring that voltage drop up, uh, till 0 0.85 so now it's almost 0 0.85 millivolt voltage drop across this diode and the current flowing through this diode is 0 0.33 ampere or 330 milliampere so now you can observe the change in current flowing through the diode and change in voltage across the diode change in voltage across the diode is very small but with respect to this change in current across the diode is larger so let's make some more changes to this voltage across the diode it's almost 0 0.9 volt see in this condition 0 0.884 the current is almost of half ampere 0 0.543 almost half ampere of current is flowing so now the voltage across diode is 0 0.9 volt and current across the diode is almost 0 0.669 so gradually if we keep on increasing the voltage across the diode the current across uh, current flowing through the diode will increase so it's almost 0 0.8 ampere of current is flowing let me make a big change if i am applying 6 volt over here and 0 0.93 millivolt across the diode so the current is 1 ampere so this 1 ampere is the limit the maximum current that this diode can carry right so this is how the voltage across diode we can keep on changing and the current across the diode that we can get now we'll just stop this simulation now whatever reading we have observed in this voltmeter and in this ammeter i have already uh, written this equation in one excel sheet and these readings are like this this is the forward bias characteristics voltage across the diode change like this and the current across the diode changes like this <coughs> now what we are going to do we are going to plot the graph for voltage across current so just uh, select to plot the graph in excel sheet even you can learn how to plot the graph in excel sheet using this just select this range click on insert then these are the various forms of chart over here you can find see all chart tab just click that insert chart will be popped on in that a scattered chart the first one the scattered chart select that and press ok So this is how you can plot the forward characteristics of 1N4007 diode.
if you have any query in this you can ask me anytime into the comment section i will be in touch with you now we are going to plot the reverse characteristics of diode and to plot that let's just quickly see the circuit diagram for the reverse bias characteristics to plot reverse characteristics what we need to do is just reverse the polarity of the diode this is the first thing that we can do if we do not want to reverse the polarity of diode what we can do is just reverse the polarity of this voltage source so this is the second thing any of this we can do and we can achieve the reverse characteristics of diode so now we'll quickly move towards the multisim and over here we'll just remove this source control r two times so it will give us 180 degree shift and we'll connect this with the diode so the source is reversed so it's ultimately diode is connected into the reverse bias just double click this thing and change the maximum value will set as 1500 volt and we want to give the increment of 2.5 percent now why 1500 volt because the reverse breakdown voltage of this diode is 1000 volt and that is why we are using the source of 1500 volt so now let's just run this thing the same way we will observe the readings 37 volt so that is minus 37.5 volt and minus nano ampere current is in nano ampere range so it's almost zero uh, current, uh, when we applied minus 140 uh, sorry 150 volt still the current is almost zero it's in nano ampere range right so let's just apply uh, a higher voltage it's minus 450 volt dc across this diode and still the current is zero let me apply more voltage it's almost 750 volt minus 750 volt and current you can see that it's still in nano ampere range it's minus 782 nano ampere let me increase it a little more it's 900 volt very much closer to its uh, breakdown reverse breakdown voltage limit but still the current is in nano ampere range it's 937 975 when we have approached 975 from nano ampere range current has shifted to micro ampere range but still it it can be considered as almost zero current it's almost 1000 volt 1013 volt but the current is still micro ampere range current let me move a little bit 105 it's 111 uh, sorry 1100 volt and current has shifted to 4.9 ampere so from that micro ampere range current has shifted to almost 5 ampere of current so this is the breakdown point of this diode let me increase it a little bit more now the current has shooted up and it's almost 19.7 ampere it's almost 20 ampere of current is flowing in a reverse direction through this diode so this shows the breakdown of this diode so we have seen how we can plot the reverse characteristics of the diode let me show you the reading that we have taken from this voltmeter and this emitter let's just plot this thing in this actual sheet let's just plot this thing in this excel sheet i have already written the reading of reverse bias right let's just select everything go into the insert click here in see all chart the scatter and click ok so this is how you can plot the reverse characteristics of 1 and 4007 diode let me show you both these characteristics so this is forward characteristics and this is the reverse characteristics of diode 
and uh, in majority of the books and everywhere you have observed this type of characteristics forward and reverse characteristics of diode so this is uh, the end of this video but before ending this video i want to ask you that uh, from this graph can you tell me what is the knee voltage for this 1 and 4007 diode and what is the reverse breakdown voltage of this 1 and 4007 diode so if you can answer this two question just write this answers into the comment section and by answering this you will be able to verify that seeing this video have you actually learned anything have you actually remembered anything or not so it's just for a cross check so this is how using multisim you can plot the vi characteristics of diode if you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel until you watch the another video till that time bye bye